Are you looking for professional training in forensic mental health? Today, we're going to talk about some of the general diagnostic criteria for personality disorder. We want to talk about psychopathy as a personality disorder. Then we'll focus specifically on psychopathic personality disorder. And then we'll talk about the hair scales as tests of psychopathic personality disorder and generally what they have in common or what their key features are. And then we're going to talk about administration scoring and interpretation of the PCLR in the screening version of the PCLR. We'll probably get to uh, talk about a little bit of research stuff, especially related to diversity. But right from the very beginning, we have to have some degree of cultural competence to do an assessment of personality disorder. Your concept of self and other is and what's appropriate in terms of relations between self and other, that's completely culturally embedded, right? We'll focus on these hair scales, they're sometimes called. So what are you going to use, the PCLR or the screening version? So I'm going to say this again and again until you're sick of it. You're working with typical criminals, especially guys who are 25 and older, especially guys who've had multiple charges and convictions, they've been in trouble with the law a lot, just a typical prison inmate. That's what the PCLR is designed for. That's what you should use the PCLR for. The screening version is pretty much everybody else. So we're going to focus on the PCLR. So if you've got that little handout in front of you, there's the um, number of pages with the item descriptions. And we're going to start off by talking about item one, glibness and superficial charm. So first, we'll go through the uh, arrogant interpersonal style items. So I went there and I worked through the summer and I came back and I visited each place I'd broken into, except for the train cars, but each of the churches, each of the schools, and I said, listen, I'm sorry. And I made financial restitution for the damages that I had wrought. Ooh. And the judge says, uh, having done this, it was uh, a sign of maturity and responsibility. And um, the parole officers or the probation officers recommendation was a lot of community hours and probation. Just a couple of uh, uh, quick points here. Any questions that you have about what's going on so far? Almost understandable. Funny Canadian English, but you can make sense of it anyway. Okay. Um, any observations on what's going on so far? Pretty standard part of an interview for you. Um, it's a little bit linear for me. You know, my preference would be not to be quite so linear. However, the great part about this kind of thing, the opening part of the interview, we always get through some safe stuff and we try to get some uh, uh, rapport going and get people used to answering questions. To learn more about Concept's professional training opportunities, visit us at concept-ce.com.